What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Follow me both places. And it's time to get this movie review started. y'all last week i got to go see the new marvel shang chai and the legend of the ten rings and let me tell you it was amazing i mean welcome to the mcu shang chai and before i get this review started let me tell you a little bit about what the movie's about so change so shang chai who's played by simu lu is just a normal guy up in his 20s and and not wanting to take off on too many responsibilities. He just wants to hang out with his friend, Katie, who is played by Aquafina. And both of them are happily content, you know, working as a valet's, drive, you know, parking cars and after work going to do a little karaoke. They're perfectly content with that. And then something happens and Shang Chai is forced to take on his past the the dark past that he left behind first let's talk about the martial arts in this movie because that's one thing i was so impressed with i love me a martial art movie and i was disappointed when mortal kombat came out i was like show me some mar martial arts and then i was like that's all you're gonna give me i was so disappointed i had to go back and watch into the badlands to get some good martial arts so i was like they're not giving us martial arts movies this year. And then here comes Shang Chai bringing it on with so many martial arts scenes. But, you know, the magnificence of these martial arts scenes. Like when you're watching these fighting scenes, it looks like a dance. And that's how it's supposed to be. I compare it to Into the Badlands. You're watching them fight, but each movement and everything is like a perfectly, you know, choreographed dance. And this is just like it is in this movie. And even better, I could say. Yes, I'll say it even better. Marvel and Disney Studios, you're going to get the amazing visuals and CGI effects. And that is true for this one. I mean, you get some amazing vi visuals from even the fighting scenes and the explosions and, and the, like I just mentioned, the martial arts, you know, choreographed dance. But also, you know, they kind of go to this other world and and where magic takes place and and darkness also and and a lot of these images i mean or in any other movie it could turn out cheesy but the way marvel does it the way disney studio does it it's perfect and it's believable and it's it it makes you want to it makes you want to go into that world it makes you like sucked into the world and you want to stay there let's talk about the cast because the guy who played shang shang chai Simu Lu, he was amazing. He he was able to bring both, you know, the the gymnastics of you know doing those fighting scenes, the the you know, but also the dialogue and and his presence on screen. It was very powerful. And let me tell you, I loved me some Aquafina in this. Them two together played off each other well, and Aquafina always brings the comedy, and she brought it in this. That's what I kind of like about Marvel. I've always liked about Marvel, the movies, but also the comic books, is that you get that intense fighting, you get that villain versus superhero, but also you get you also get you know the laughs and and the comedy and those those quips and and one-liners. Complain about the the long you know how long these movies are if it's too long. This one wasn't bad. The middle kind of was slow f for a little bit. But I'm gonna tell you, you you had to have this. This is a new character, you know, being introduced into the MCU. You really don't know nothing about him, so you need to get, you know, some backstory and and form those relationships and get to know those relationships that he has. So you're gonna get some moments like that, but it is quickly picked up. It is quickly picked up by the action scenes, the fighting scenes, you know, um, the intensity of some of the scenes. The story was was exciting but also at moments of you know pulling at your heartstrings and and make you want to cry and you know and then at the in the other end it make you angry and like what why is he doing it? it brings out all the motions you get that roller coaster of emotion let's take a look at what the parents need to look out before they let their kids watch this so as far as language you're going to get some profanity you're going to get the s word 
the bull S word, the BS word. You're going to get the a-hole word. You'll get damn and, and sayings like screw you, hell, and even like a vagina word here and there. So they have some language to look out for. There's no F word, so I always appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Profanity. The other biggest lookout is violence. I mean, what do we talk about? This is a, a Marvel movie. They're going to have fighting, hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, explosions, good versus bad, villains in this you know characters dying and lots of characters dying so i'm just gonna warn you if you don't like you know to have your kids watching some deaths and murders and and violent scenes this is one to pass up because you're gonna get a lot of it plenty of it all throughout the movie but i enjoyed it i mean we did get our black widow from the mcu recently and you know that was a kind of a backstory of characters we already know what happened to so it it was enjoyable to watch but this is a new character coming into the mcu making his presence known coming out with this great movie to be like i'm here and i'm worthy of this movie you know i totally enjoyed it i'm gonna watch it probably a million more times <laughs> that's how much but like i said i love me some martial arts movie and this is one of the top ones with the martial arts that I appreciated. I did. I thought they brought it. And for a movie, you know, about somebody with martial arts, they made sure to make it the center of it. Shang Chai and the Legend of the Ten Rings is coming out September 3rd in theaters only. Not any Disney Plus this time. It's in theaters only. If you're excited to watch it, let me know. Let me know your thoughts, comments, thumbs, and all that down below. And until next time, y'all.